Now that we know what summative assessment is and who can perform it, let us learn about summative assessment methods and individual and group assessment. There are many and various summative assessment methods and most probably you are familiar with quite a few of them. The most popular ones may include an exam, a group project, a presentation, an essay or report, quizzes or tests, research papers, field works, posters, and similar. By the way, it is important to mention that some of the methods can be used for both the formative and the summative assessments, including such as the rubric, the checklists, the learning diaries, learning journals, learning logs, similar. In CBL, the final result may be delivered in various forms, but frequently it is some sort of a created, developed product. Let's see some examples. <clears throat> Here are some ideas on what types of methods could be used to display first. Writing some piece of work, for example, a movie script, creating a brochure, writing an article, writing a poem, developing a proposal, writing an editorial, doing a case study, keeping a journal, something similar. Second, could be doing a team presentation for an audience or board of assessors. For example, students might be assigned to do a newscast, create and present a play, exhibit some products, conduct debates, do a workshop, present an experiment or host a conference. Next, it could be a display and presentations of some technical creations, such as computer programs, software applications, a blueprint, some scientific instrument or machine, or some prototype. Moreover, it could be some kind of media products, for example, a painting, a YouTube channel, a podcast, a website, a video or short movie, sculpture, graphic design, a radio or television commercial. Or it could be some artistic creation, such as a dance, a sports performance, created and implemented guided tour. Now let's talk about group and individual assessments. For a teacher, it is important to prepare the final assessment methods evaluating both the group and individual students. A group may be assessed on the quality of the final overall result, achievement of the CBL task goal, and the development of the necessary competences. Meanwhile, individual students may be assessed through the application of final self-assessment evaluating overall personal input and efforts, and final peer evaluation assessing group members on their overall input and efforts. A teacher could then calculate the final individual result, including the group grade. This may be a grade given by the entire assessment board if several assessors review the final product and give a grade, also including the self-assessment and peer assessments. After covering the summative assessment topic, you can find in this unit the checklist of the main aspects and the tasks that can help you in planning your summative assessment. For more information and examples, please see additional resources in this unit on assessment in CBL. Thank you.